and civil society groups have welcomed the Supreme Court verdict on the Building Bridges Initiative-led constitutional amendment process. The group say that the proposed bill was an individualistic, narrow, and self-serving political maneuver that would not serve the interests of the nation. They have called on political actors to preach peace in campaigns ahead of the August general election. Amendment that watered down the post independence constitution, the massive handles to the adoption and implementation of the current constitution from the 1990s to, to date. That is from the time of Moy. So the BBS scam has been part of these repugnant schemes which must be defeated at all costs. And you can see even the chaos that is in this country at the moment. Look at the shortage of fuel. Look at the high increase of farm input. Look at the high cost of living. Um, and, and the blame game is just disinformation. It's a carefully choreographed disinformation where we are blaming Russia, Ukraine, and all these other happenings internationally. Whereas inside here, in as a country, we are disorganized. This country can be able to govern itself through the rule of law, which is the constitution. And from uh, the decisions that have been made by uh, the current uh, leadership and also those that are in opposition to be able to uh, push an initiative that is against the constitution leaves Kenyans with doubt and also trust in the people that we are going to elect in the general election. And it's high time that as a country we now review uh, the kind of leadership that we need to, uh, that we'll be putting in place come August, um, uh, August uh, 2022 to just ensure that these are people who are going to uh, implement the constitution.